Hi right, guys, it's just a quick video review of my uh, 79 series and the uh, battery system that I'm currently running uh, and what I like about it. Uh, up top I've got 160 watt permanent mounted solar under the water tank up there in the rack uh, that feeds into the uh, CCDC controller in the back. So this is my third setup I think on this 79 series. Uh, I've gone lithium this time. Um, rang up and talked to the guys at um, Enerdrive at uh, my generator about the Enerdrive gear and uh, told them what I wanted and they came up with uh, a few solutions I hadn't thought of so I had three main components when I looked at this system one was the uh, cost one was the weight saving and then obviously it had to do what I wanted to do and reliability so in here uh, I was talking to the boys at my generator, I went with a 240 volt AC charger, 40 amp, and a 40 amp DC DC with the solar input as well. Uh, off the 240 volt uh, charger, I've run a second cable out here, which is a bit of an experiment at the moment. Um, it's like an extension cable that uh, I'll plug into the uh, other energy drive battery I've got in my uh, boat that powers my Minn Kota. Um, so they're both running off battery bank one and it's just a matter of turning um, that breaker on after I turn that breaker off just to isolate which battery the power is going to. Um, so I haven't cranked my car up this morning, it's been sitting here uh, overnight, it's probably only down about 90 amps, so I run a 200 amp lithium battery, Got one uh, permanent 40 litre angle in here um, running 24 7 and on this slide here there's usually a second uh, 40 amp angle when I go away. So I'll just hit the key and we'll see what sort of happens. Like I said, the battery's probably only down to 90% overnight. Um, you can see there that the DC DC's kicked in as soon as the car's started up. We'll give it a minute and it'll probably show what sort of voltage drop in, what sort of amps rather than that battery. So you can see there, comes up pretty quick. Currently the battery's at 13.3 volts, not fully charged. Uh, looks like it's putting about 19 amps already. Um, car's just sitting there idling. So, to my drive, 15 minute drive to work and back every day, and sitting there with the 160 watt of solar, the battery's fully charged by lunchtime every day. And, um, yeah, I've never had a problem with it. Run that angle. Here we go. It's just starting to register register now. So this thing's great. Love it. You can see it climbing. Uh, there's a phone app that picks all this up very good. There you go. We're throwing in 30 amps into those batteries. The car sitting here at idle. Uh, not a problem at all. That's been sitting since about four o'clock yesterday afternoon with the 40 litre angle just running perfectly guys at my generator talked me through everything I want, they answered every question I had and uh, set, the plate, set the car up exactly to what I want. So off that, I just run a couple of lights, there's a light up in the top there, we'll just take you around the other side of the car. Yeah, the, port, the 200 amp lithium that the guys at Enerdro, uh, my generator put me on to, <laughs> only weighs 23 kilos. My old setup, I had two AGMs that I couldn't pull anywhere near as much out of. Uh, and a total weight of those about 74 kilos. So this set up much lighter and a third again battery for 50% again battery powder. So you can see there I've got the 40 litre angle there which runs permanent and the travel buddy oven uh, to light the stuff under the door. So in this box here, this box is only 580 mil wide, the front box, there are two separate boxes on this 79 series. Um, that 200 amp lithium lives up the back in behind there bit hard to see in there guys but it's sitting on a shelf uh, mounted in behind these gauges and lights and stuff so space was critical to me and to get as much battery power as I can definitely not as neat as some of the wiring setups you see coming onto the pages but uh, I'm pretty happy with it um, underneath that we've got a pantry drawer here that comes out and a table that comes out underneath that pantry drawer so that's my setup guys um, spoke to the guys in my generator like I said answer every question I had uh, freighted the, all the gear up to cans for me once it was paid for and um, yeah made any problems and concerns I've had since 
uh, not so much problems but concerns and questions that they've been too happy to answer. So the next thing is to pull that toolbox out of there and probably throw an Enerdrive 2000 watt inverter against that wall. Okay guys, that's a bit of the gear i got. If you've got any concerns, ring the guys. If you're thinking about going lithium, ring the guys at my generator. They'll answer all the questions you've got. And uh, I love the Enerdrive gear they supply. Thanks, eh?